Okay, we're now five minutes into, uh, beg your pardon, 15 minutes into trade. Uh, we are off our lows. Just looking down those sectors that are in negative territory, it's notable that the industrials are down, the financials are down today, and the materials, but all sectors are bleeding red so far today. Time to get the Friday trade. Wayne Kaufman is Chief Market Analyst with John Thomas Financial, and Lance Helfert is Founder and President of West Coast Asset Management. Uh, the camera getting a little bit excited there. Wayne, what do you do in an environment like this? Well, you know, unfortunately, things in the United States are not as great as we would like them to be. And I think you guys did a wonderful job holding Austin Goolsby's feet to the fire. I personally would like to know what he would say uh, if how he would feel if the tax increases that his group wanted last year. If those increases had gone into effect, what would be happening with the economy right now? So, but, you know, we won't get that answer. Um, but uh, I do think there are companies doing tremendous business around the globe that, uh, that uh, should be bought. You know, my favorites. You sound quite angry. I, I you am. You sound quite Why are you I so really, angry? I, re I really am. Because you've got an administration that made tremendous projections years ago at this point. If this was the private sector, any group of managers with this track record would be fired, period. They would be shown the door unceremoniously, but these people do keep... Actually, but do you actually really think they can make a difference, a substantial difference in an economy that, is, government, that is so, so badly hit? Government policymakers relative to trying to goose the economy. They're like a four-year-old kid with a hammer. Everything looks like a nail. They do not know when to stop. They do not create wealth. That's just the fact. They're like traders who overtrade a book. It's the same thing. Right. And then Ben Bernanke comes out and says, we have no idea why this is so bad. If you have no idea, why do you continue to do these things and, and espouse these philosophies? And what they've done is they've depressed the American public and the business people in America. You've got the lowest rate of job creation. They talk about unemployment and uh, you have the lowest rate of business creation. Business creation. Wayne, I'm sorry, I want to bring Lance in because we have limited time this morning. But Lance, I want to get your, your take on the jobs report and whether or not, more importantly, it impacts your investment outlook at least for the next six months. Well, it's just one month, so I don't want to jump to any conclusions. America definitely has its problems, but I still think it's it's far and away better than a lot of the countries and a lot of the problems that other other parts of the world are having. So, I would I would hesitate to make a quick uh, rush to, to judgment on on a long term or a six month um, investment strategy based on what we found out today. The government is contracting their jobs, which is a good sign. We want our government to be more efficient, and that's kind of where we're at right now. And and I don't think I should. You know, the market's kind of shrugging it off. I mean, they, first we shrugged off Greece last week, and now Dow was down 150 pre-market, and it's, it's down less than 100. So I think people realize that it's, it's just one month, and let's see what happens over the next, you know, two, three months over the summer. So by September, uh, Lance, that's when you'll decide whether or not this will actually change your view. Yes, I think we got to give it two or three months before I can say that, you know, this one bad month at jobs report is really going to change what's going on. You know, we've, had, we've been through a lot the last three years, and, and we are on the uptick. We are, you know, people are, you know, having jobs, and, and the jobs are being created. It's slower than we want, but, you know, with the election year coming up, the, the, the White House is going to do everything they can to keep the music playing, and, and I, I still am positive on, on the next six months in the market. Okay, guys, good to talk to you both. Thank you very much. Big, big day. Wayne and Lance uh, joining us there with, um, <coughs> what were we supposed to talk about? Value plays. Uh, think... We were. We showed all the picks, though. We did show all okay. the picks. Okay. That's very important here. All right, coming up next, making the case for new tech companies being undervalued, even stocks like LinkedIn and Pandora, Bubble versus Buy, straight ahead. And a real fly 